So, good afternoon. This is Matt from VRT. Uh, welcome to 2025 winter update. So, over my shoulder here, uh, you can see there's a rather large hole in the side of the aircraft there. Uh, so, that is one of the parts that we're replacing at the moment. So, there's a big boom that's inside the back of the aircraft there that was corroded. That's being replaced or repaired at the moment. We're looking at uh, replacement parts. Other bits that are going on. As you can see, the Bombay doors have been removed. Uh, they're up in the front of the nose bay, which we'll show you in a minute. They're off for access and respraying and refinishing, new seals, air brakes. They're being worked on at the moment. Uh, we're changing chains on the air brakes. Um, when we go past in a second, you'll see a pair of legs hanging out the undercarriage bay. Uh, so up there is John Lamb. So we've got refueling um, selector units on both sides of the aircraft. So the aircraft split in half on its fuel system. Um, so up there at the moment, John's changing a couple of relays on the selector panels. Had a problem for a couple of years on those. So the relay's being swapped out, being done on that side of it. Um, alternator intake skin that's up there, that's come off, that's had a bit of corrosion on that, so it's going to swap the skin. Um, it's much, much easier to do that. Just change it completely. Then on the nose undercarriage, uh, the steering motor, which is that black bit on the back there, that's been swapped. Um, we have play in the old unit, that's come off, that's been swapped out. Just wait for new seals on that. Um, so with the air brakes, you can see here where the safety razor is and where the jacks are. Guys are working on the air brakes there. Um, so everything's been taken out. The posters have all come out, the flaps have come off. Everything's been treated, painted. Um, the new chains are in, bearings have been serviced. Loads and loads of work on that side of it. Trevor Lockhart, he's up in the cockpit now. He's doing the rear instrument panel. Uh, they're all hinged down at the moment. So all the, um, all the lighting circuitry at the back there is all being uh, chased out and looked at so uh, he's looking at that side of it to get it all working again which it should be uh, we've got Mario here working on bits of the air brakes Joe there he's up in number four intake at the minute um, some igniter boxes have just been swapped out and checked they've been functioned that now works which is good uh, the intake's being rebuilt so you can see the guys here um, new bearings have been pressed into one of the arms here um, all being lubricated. Um, it's a frantic race now to try and get the aircraft back together. So the repair at the back end here is one of the major obstacles at the moment. So just in terms of parts for this at the moment, uh, pot rivets, solid rivets, cherry rivets, bits of material that we had to get. Some of it was actually, believe it or not, and this is the irony, it was made in Russia. Um, so that's where it was sourced from. Uh, but the, the price of the pot rivets and everything else and the, the solids and the materials, we're looking at uh, two and a half thousand pounds just for the back end at the moment. This is only a temporary repair. Um, and then when we look at next winter, both of the lower rear booms in the power bay, they're going to be coming back out again um, and replaced. We we'll want to try and do this over the summer. So if we can get the materials, We've now got a machine shop that says they can do the machining, uh, perhaps have bits 3D scanned, all sorts. So back in the late 70s, I think it was, uh, I think there was a fire at Woodford uh, where the Vulcans were built. And that's where they housed all the drawings. Uh, there was no drawings for the boom. So that they got lost in the fire. So we've had to get the parts 3D scanned. Um, so now it's a case of, we're trying to reverse engineer the booms are absolutely rotten in the back of the aircraft so this is now the reason why we're doing all this work um, so the actual boom that is being replaced is this part here um, so as you can see it this is meant to be one complete length there's no, there's meant to be no gap on that part there and no gap on this part here and you can see where the corrosion is 
So, and when you look down the camera, you can see the profile of the actual boom itself. So that's going to have to be made out of one piece of material. Um, and it was trying to find the company that could actually do the machining for that. So hopefully now we've got that covered. Um, but it's going to be the cost of the boom material twice that handed. Um, so Trevor's now working on the skins there. So we're using the, the same skins that we cut off. Uh, and they're being repaired now. So they're all going to be ready to go back in. Pete Trent is in the workshop. He's uh, CNC and machining the repair pieces for this boom as we speak now. Um, so also for access, just to get to the boom on here, we've had to take out the jet pipe, the end cap. We've had to de-skin part of the jet pipe tunnel. Um, so all that is just to gain access to the other side of the boom. It's quite major work. This is about as major as you go on this thing. Um, but the aircraft's up on jacks, it's stress jacked, an extra trestle in the back here just to make sure the aircraft doesn't move. So with the aircraft up on jacks, you have to be careful of how much fuel's on board the aircraft as well. So the aircraft's up on stress jacks for the, for the work on the boom uh, and other various bits. So the fuel loading, we're 17% lighter this year than we were last year for when we jacked the aircraft. So it really is a lot of work. So we're looking at the bomb doors going back on in a couple of weeks time, if all the seals are back on. We're looking at having the boom finished, uh, ready to go back in, and the rivets start to go back in in two weeks time also. If everything can tie up, the aircraft will be on the floor for its first open day, um, and the ejector seat and the cab will be back on also. So really, it's been a heck of a lot of work everybody's working really really hard on this to get the aircraft ready fit serviceable so it's cost a lot of money um, people say our taxi runs are quite expensive but really when you look at it a carrier bag full of rivets is two and a half thousand pounds near enough it's it's crazy money but that's aeroplanes um, you know you think insurances uh, fuel nitrogen uh, vehicle costs, everything's got a cost on it, so we have to make our money somehow. We're doing our VIP visits, we're doing hangar dances, we're doing proms, we're doing music and beer festival. All those tickets are on sale now. Please try and come down for those. So every bit of support you give, it keeps us going, keeps this aircraft alive. So keep tuned, stay there for updates, and we'll see you soon. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.